Welcome to the Business Continuity Management Awareness Course. In this course, you will get an understanding of Business Continuity Management, or BCM. Select Launch Course to begin. Welcome to this e-learning module on Business Continuity Management Awareness. Please budget around 45 minutes to complete this module. Let's go through this course together to learn about BCM. Before you begin, let's take a glance at what the course will include. In this course, you will first learn what BCM is and its benefits, its framework and implementation. Then, some details on the roles and responsibilities of different stakeholders in BCM. And finally, the effectiveness of a business continuity management system, BCMS. After completing this course, you should be able to explain BCM and the benefits of implementing BCM. Describe the BCM framework. Differentiate between BCM, crisis management and IT disaster recovery. Explain the different phases of the BCM lifecycle. Describe the roles, responsibilities and authorities of stakeholders in BCM and explain what makes a BCMS effective. Time to begin with Module 1. Introduction to BCM and its benefits. This module will help you to define business continuity management and list the benefits of implementing BCM. BCM is the capability of an organization to continue the delivery of products and services within acceptable time frames at predefined capacity during a disruption. In simple words, BCM helps to create alternate ways to provide the basic minimum that can be reasonably expected by your key stakeholders. BCM is defined as a holistic management process that identifies potential threats to an organization and the impacts to business operations that those threats, if realized, might cause. BCM readiness would help organizations to do their best to restart urgent operations in any scenario such as fire, floods, pandemic, cyber attacks, etc. BCM provides a framework for building organizational resilience with the capability of an effective response that safeguards the interests of key stakeholders, reputation and brand and value-creating activities. Some of the key stakeholders are customers, regulators, employees, partners and the media. The purpose of a business continuity management system, BCMS, is to prepare for, provide and maintain controls and capabilities for managing an organization's overall ability to continue to operate during disruptions. For commercial organizations, the increased assurance that BCM provides can help increase market share and competitive advantage, leading to growth, higher revenues, and greater profitability. From a business perspective, BCM helps the organization to support its strategic objectives create a competitive advantage, protect and enhance its reputation and credibility, and contribute to organizational resilience. From a financial perspective, BCM helps the organization to minimize legal and financial exposure, including fines and penalties, direct and indirect costs of disruptions. From an internal perspective, BCM helps the organization to improve its capability to remain effective during disruptions, effectively and efficiently demonstrate proactive control of risks, and address operational vulnerabilities. From the perspective of interested parties, BCM helps the organization to demonstrate management professionalism via a planned and effective response, facilitate the safety of human life and physical assets, property and the environment, and provide peace of mind and assurance to regulators, employees, customers, partners and other interested parties. Let us take a look at the definition of a few terminologies related to BCM, roll over each term to view its definition. Note that you will not be able to move to the next screen until you have rolled over and read each of the boxes above. These are the steps that are generally followed to implement BCM in an organization. Each of these activities can be considered as a project. 
These collectively comprise a BCM program. The BCM policy is one of the first documents that is created in the BCM journey. The general contents of the BCM policy are purpose, context, scope, and governance. All people in the organization need to be trained on BCM so that they have the desired competence according to the role they play in the program. The duration, complexity, and mode of delivery may vary according to the audience. The training may be with or without certification. The BIA is said to be the backbone of the BCM program. It helps to establish the priority in which products and services are to be recovered and the timelines. The risk assessment needs to be conducted for all prioritized processes or activities. The objective is to ensure the identification and evaluation of all key risks. Mitigation of the key risks is performed through strategies, which is the next step in the BCM program. It is time to check your understanding. If you are ready, select next to proceed to the course assessment. Welcome to the course assessment of the awareness course on business continuity management. This assessment includes a total of 10 objective questions. Give your best to answer each question correctly. You will need to score a minimum of 70% to get the completion certificate. Select start to begin the course assessment. Welcome to this e-learning module on business continuity management awareness. You have successfully completed the course assessment.